Hey, welcome to Solo Melodic. I am Tim Kaiser on this channel. Reflect and react to music lyrically, looking for redemptive qualities in the gift that is music. Today, I'm going to record two videos. I'm going to do my first Megadeth video. It's a new song. I did not know they were releasing new, new uh, material, but I'm going to do a Megadeth video. And this today, I'm going to do a quick uh, reaction to a Joe Rogan interview. Um, Dave Mustaine was on the Joe Rogan Experience recently. Just a second. So let's get into Dave Mustaine on the Joe Rogan Experience. <laughs> the Joe Rogan Experience. I mean, you were successful pretty early on in your life. Like, mm -hmm. how old were you when you were in your first band? Uh, Panic uh, was the band before Metallica, and, and that was only for a short period of time. And I was 20 when I was in Metallica. So I probably started when I was around maybe 17, 18. But just think of that, just that statement. I was 20 when I was in Metallica. <laughs> I mean, that... Yeah, fuck you all. That is crazy. I was 20 when I was in Metallica. That is a crazy statement. Because if you just think about the average 20-year-old's life and that, and that this is, look at, look at you guys, little babies. Yeah. So cute. That's amazing. Does that freak you out when you look at that? No, it doesn't. Um, it kind of brings me a little bit of some sadness. Because of the way it went down with you guys? Oh, I don't care about that. Uh, because Cliff. Oh. Oh, okay. So let's just talk about that just for a second. So Cliff Burton, the bass player for Metallica, um, he died in 1986. I was actually in Naval A School training. I just left boot camp, went to, went to uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia to learn how to be an air uh, an operations specialist. And uh, I remember when he died because I was a huge Metallica fan back in the day. And it's one of those deaths that was like, you know, forever etched in my memory. So that was 1986, I know. And so that picture was uh, Dave Mustaine and uh, Bert, uh, Cliff, Cliff, it was Cliff, Mustaine, um, I'm drawing a blank, Lars and Hetfield before the others joined the band. So that's just a bunch of kids. That's hard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What kind of brings me a little bit of some sadness. Because of the way it went down with you guys? Oh, I don't care about that. Uh, because Cliff. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. When you um, left Metallica and then when, did you go right into Megadeth? Or did you other, what did you do right after Metallica? I, I think in my mind, I went right into Megadeth, but... Um, at the time, I, I was still kind of trying to, you know, uh, digest everything that took place. We well, were still only 20. Yeah, yeah. But the thing that bothered me the most was I had all my music, and I left it behind, and I said, don't use my music. And of course they did. Oh, really? Yeah, they used it on the first record, on the second record. There's parts of my music on a song on the third record. All the solos on the first record are mine, except that they're just performed by Kirk. And... Close, but not the same. You know, he's not a bad guitar player. Did you get royalties for that? Uh, well, uh, most of them, yeah. But I'll go back in a second. I just want to touch on something he said. It's it's it is true. I think about it because I my first Metallica record was Ride the Lightning. Then I went back and bought Kill 'Em All, and then we went forward. But Kill 'Em All and Ride the Lightning are distinctively different records. I, I always assumed it was because as bands mature mature they sometimes get you know more polished and more streamlined but maybe it was i mean i don't know i'm, I'm assuming he's telling the truth but uh I, I imagine he did have a strong influence on them for those first two records those records are super heavy that they're just performed by kirk and close but not the same you know, he's not a bad guitar player did you he's get royalties for that uh well uh, most of them yeah but kirk got my royalties for Metal Militia for many, many years, and, you know, he has to see the check, so I know somebody saw that I wasn't getting paid. So there's a sadness and bitterness. Not bitterness. No I'm, bitterness. I'm, I'm over it. A little it. upset. You know, it's just money. You know, like yeah. you said, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I'm, my happiness and my family and my wife and my children are more important to me than than anything in this world, and, and um, you know, I, I, I love our fans. I... I have so many things in this life that I'm happy about, but man, it's 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 my family and and obviously my relationship with God. I I, I take that very very personal, and you know I don't talk to people about it. I, I don't I don't push it on them. 
at all. It's my thing. And, and uh, I just look at it like where I'm at right now. Um, yeah, 20 in Metallica. And now look at me, I'm 60 in Megadeth. And, and <laughs> uh, I'm a Grammy winner. I'm a New York Times bestselling author. All these things that if, if you know, I was signing autographs the other day, Joe, and, and I, I, I had these boxes. There was 3,000 jackets I had to sign. And for a moment, I flashed back to elementary school when I was in front of the chalkboard. I swear to God, and I had to write. Did you ever have to do that? Yeah, sure. God, and I don't know what brought that up, but I thought, oh my God, I can't even believe that. And and thinking about you know where I'm at now today, and 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 you know, just how the slightest deviation from where I was going could have ended me up anywhere else in the world. That's interesting. I, that's just a, a brief clip, and I totally encourage you to watch the whole video. But I, you know, I, I've heard that Dave Mustaine is a Christian, uh, and he wasn't always a Christian. So you have Dave Mustaine, you have Blackie Lawless, um, you know, Alice Cooper obviously is a is a has been a Christian, an outspoken Christian for a long time. But here, here's something that some Christians have a tough time reconciling. I mean, being in Megadeth, playing that kind of playing heavy music, and being a Christian. So. Um, there's a difference between being a Christian band, a Christian band, and being a band with Christians. POD is a band full of Christians. You know, I believe the the lead singer for uh, Papa Roach at least at one time confessed to be a Christian, but that's not a Christian band. And and then uh, Alice Cooper is not a Christian band, but he's a Christian. So it, it's it's really important for us as believers to you know not try to you know, mold and shape these these people into something that's other than what they're they're called to do. And they will reach people that a lot of us would never reach. Now Mustaine had mentioned that it's something he does not how do you say he doesn't press it on people. He he keeps it to himself, but um, you know, people could see his life and I'm sure he shares it with those who are close to him. So uh, interesting to see, watch the whole video, but um, there it is our little interview with uh, Dave Mustaine and Joe Rogan and we will um, the video we're going to do is a new song called Life in Hell by, by Megadeth. So thanks for joining me today. Hope this has been uh, a blessing to you. If so, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you soon with a new video.